Good afternoon YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to go over some new greenhouse equipment with you and give you a little bit of an Nepenthes tour down here on the back end of the greenhouse. So things have been going really well in here. It is a very very bright location. I have already had to put the shade cloth up. I started doing that um, a few weeks ago and yeah but things are going really well. Being it's so hot in here I did end up buying a new or getting a new piece of equipment here. This is the Inkbird controller. This one here is the ITC 608T. And it's important that I mentioned which model this is because Inkbird has so many models. So this one is it's good. It's um, a humidity and temperature controller. And I actually just unplugged the humidity because it was going right now. It's really easy to set up and basically if you set there you can change the um, heating by a tenth of a degrees hit set again and you can change the humidity now it's doing something weird on camera where the numbers are kind of rolling across the screen ignore that because it's not really happening like that so it's good it's easy it's simple to set up and then if you long press the set button you can actually um, change the differential as well so if it's set to 26 celsius and you want it to come on at 28 and cool back down to 26 you can do that this does work for heating and cooling so this work one depending on how you set it with the long press set here your menu comes up you can either heat or cool being it is so warm in the greenhouse and that and i want to keep it not much it's 24.5 right now i like it to be under about 28 if i can being it's a highland greenhouse i don't want it super hot so i have it on the cooling mode right now Humidity is set to 75 or so. Right now it's 69.8 because I unplugged it. Sun just came out. It's really getting warm in here. So, yeah. Shade cloth definitely needs to be on. I turned off the fans for doing the, the video as well. But right now I have this guy controlling this fan here. So when I open the back, it's nice wide open space. And it will blow in the nice cooler air from outside and then stop it when it needs to be when it's cool enough and that will work for most of the year and then being i'm bringing in colder air from outside it's going to drop the humidity which this thing will then run the humidifier as well so it'll run that guy i have it unplugged like i say right now so because it, it's a little bit loud but yeah i've had it set up for about a week now it's doing really well um a good sturdy model this thing does 1800 watts of power so it's going to run, you know, a good size heater. What I may do in a few months when I bring in the air conditioning again, um, I might just have it run the air conditioner as well because um, it has the, the power to do that. So that's, it's, yeah, so far so good. It is also interchangeable. These guys, this is a humidity sensor. I can just unplug it and replace it if something was to be damaged on it. This is the... Um, temperature which i actually have running way over to here and it looks like this and again same deal i can just um replace it if it gets broken the unit itself seems really solid so anyways that's what i'm using for now um in the greenhouse as my the brains of the operation here to keep everything cool unfortunately i can't use it for heating in the winter time 1800 watts isn't quite enough i have a couple of these guys which are about 5,000 watts each so won't work for that but it will definitely work for cooling in the summertime and maintaining humidity all year round so again that guy there if you were looking for this exact model is the inkbird itc 608 t they have tons of different models so check them out i got this on amazon amazon.ca but now that we have talked a little bit about the brains of the the greenhouse here we can go for a little bit of a tour so lots of stuff is coming out in spike this is leonardo ai that's another leonardo ai there a little basil shoot on them too uh, deania is out lots of males going on but there's a few females kicking around too i've done a little bit of pollinating but um not as much as i had wished for my mcfarlane ai always impresses looking really good down there a lot of stuff in here, wavy maximas, Hamada Rob Cantley eyes, Rob Cantley eye Hamadas, 
and some other the cool things. My hydrofogger down the other end just turned on, so it might be a little bit loud. The greenhouse is long enough that I actually have a different sensor down on that end to control the humidity down there. Trusmoniensis is looking really good. Just put it into a much bigger pot. Have a little Aristolacoides coming out. First time, looks like it's going to be male. But that's okay because my bigger plant is a female, so that works out well for me. Hamatas are starting to rebound nicely after the move. For those of you guys who don't follow me or don't follow me as often, uh, last year I up and moved the greenhouse and moved all my plants. That guy looks um, pretty wicked actually. Looking really good there. And yeah, some things took bigger hits than other things. So, Loei, looking good. It's funny because um, they always say that the Loei attracts the like the rodents, like tree shoe, tree shrews to um, eat the. I forget what they call it, undulate underneath the lid. Look what happened! Something came in and ate it. I think it was like a little mouse. It like ate all of the only Loei upper lids and ate it all off so it definitely was um living up to its name maybe it got pooped in too right but yeah there's a few here's another low ei and here's more chewing so the culprit has been dealt with and that's all i'll say about that but um yeah low ei is looking good uh, nigras are up here now nigras coming out in a little tiny bloom i think it's the boy another one here um I'm trying to follow that one back. Spatulata, is that bloom there? I'm seeing more blooms coming out here. I'm just trying to figure out what all of this is. Is that another spatulata? That's another spatulata there. And another niger up there. And those guys there are platykyla. Not sure what that guy is. Oh, that's uh, Alba. Look at the um, upper pictures on Alba. It looks pretty good. So, yeah, lots of stuff coming out. It's so bright in here. It's amazing. The old location, the old greenhouse. I barely put shade cloth on in, like, May and June. It was off again by September, October. I only took the shade cloth down in December, and I put it back up in February. So there's one month without it. So I made it stay up this year. Undulata folia. Coming out with a little basil shoot. Some little red hairy hamadas. Diabolical. Some more back there. Some rajas, but we're all zoomed in now. Those guys are rajas. Those are sort of my medium sized plants. And this is a nice um, burbetti. That's a um, Malaysian tropicals clone there. Nicest picture it's had in a long time. What else is going on? I put some stuff in some really big pots. Here's Rob Cantley eye. Looking good. My Eddie ended up a bigger pot. It honestly hasn't done a ton since it's been here. It um, hasn't formed any new pictures in the last year and the last ones are just sort of fading on it. I see um, some new growth up here is hitting the bar. I'll have to be really ultra careful about that. Scary ultra careful. I'm just gonna move it back for a bit. Raja, I put in a bigger pot too. These are like five gallon pots. So it gives them a little bit more room to really expand. It's so nice having extra room and still like vacant shelves and everything like that. Here's some plants that are available. A lot of things that you see in the trays like this are available on my website in Canada. And Herliana. A few little seed growings. Looking good. Oh, I know that has a new name there. Don't yell at me in the comments. Macrophylla. Got some leaf jumps. Had some nice pictures last year. They kind of faded for the winter on this guy. Everything goes through sort of seasons here. That guy is a Jacqueline Raja. Alice Brianna, I think it's pronounced. What else do we got? I hacked back my um, 
Spectabilis when we moved and um, it's done well. It's got lots of um, flowers on it. That's a female there. Nice plant. It's not so tall now, but it's really bushy. What else do we got here? Rigid Foley has done really well since um, moving. And so I've actually got not only shade cloth on the outside or on the roof, but on the outside as well in some locations, just because it's straight sun coming in here like all the time. So yeah, but things have been really doing well. So that's, you know, more plants there that are on the website. Some cute ones here. This is Ventricosa dubia. I like that one. It's really awesome. Cute. My Reniformis cross nebulomifolia is like blooming like crazy. Look at all these blooms on this. Beautiful plant. A few more um, utricularia down there. Some more blooms. Some more stuff in the middle here. This is an older Jacqueline, but um, it was a nice one. Excuse my messy floor with houses and everything. This greenhouse is very industrial these days. It's always like a renovation in progress. Maxima's in there. This guy's about to eat something. Not like an animal, but like another pitcher. That I think is Rob Cantley, I burb. BJ, I want to say. Um, burb Rob. So, yeah. This was my, this I got by mistake. That one came from AW. That's like a low EI Perbigi, maybe. I was supposed to get um, Burbetti and I ended up with that. So that's kind of sucks. Colossi's down here. Looking pretty good. I found some plants just do well in like ultra shade and other ones um, do okay and a little bit brighter. But um, Fogelia is just like, the uppers are crazy little pinners now. Look at that. That's a nice little upper there. It's like so far from its lower. I don't know if I have a lower picture to show you, but they're just, they don't look like that at all. So nice little picture. Different um, Vogelia. Some little hamatas down here, some little seed grown ones from Borneo Exotics. These are the um, Tambusi plants. They, um, I find, really don't take much light to get like a nice hue of red on them. Very, very little light at all. They just, they seem to um, stay small if there's too much light going on. They don't get any leaf jumps. And yeah. I think this is my Highland Truncata that's kind of getting buried here. New picture coming out on it. Fresh popped. But anyways, I'm going to plug in the Inkbird humidifier now because humidity is really going. So it's going to be loud now, but I'm going to say my goodbyes, show you this guy going. So yeah. The Inkbird um, controller runs the humidity and then that fan up there, which I'm surprised isn't kicking on right now because it is getting warm in here. But anyways, I hope you like this Highland Nepenthes tour. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Bye guys.